Hi guys, welcome to episode 2 of Portfolio Dissection. So today is the second episode and I'll be talking more about Fai's Hospitality Trust and Fai's Orchard, who is the sponsor of Fai's Hospitality Trust. So in Singapore, Fai's organisation is definitely not foreign to us as they hold many major property developments and own quite a huge amount of land. So before we dive in, let's have an overview of the stocks in my portfolio. So I covered Nikko AM STI ETF and SPDR STI ETF in my previous video. And in this week, Far East Hospitality Trust and Far East Orchard will be covered. So first, let's go into Far East Hospitality Trust. So I bought it before the pandemic happened. And at that time, with Singapore being a tourism and medical hub, I definitely saw a lot of potential in the hospitality sectors as our numbers for tourism has always been substantial. So Fai's Hospitality Trust provides hotel and service apartments in Singapore. Their portfolio consists of a total of 13 properties, with 9 being hotels and 4 service apartments. So in, th in terms of the hotels, they have about 2,775 rooms and for the service residences, they have 368 units. So as you can see from the map, most of their property are very centrally located, uh, especially the hotels and um, this is really good in terms of uh, for tourism because I mean when you travel, you would want to have a hotel that is very centrally located and um, easy access to the areas around. So, 2020 definitely proved to be a tough year as travel takes a hold. And as you can see from their uh, balance sheet, their gross revenue uh, definitely dropped in 2020, first half. And... Their cash equivalent has also dropped in the first half of 2020. Definitely because uh, asset enhancement works were carried out at Village Hotel Changi, uh, Renderfears Hotel and Village Hotel Albert Court. So for my holdings, as of 30th Jan 2021, I currently hold about 1,800 units bought at an average price of 61 cents. So in terms of profit or loss, I have a loss of about $56. And so far, I've collected $105 uh, in dividends from it. So in the short term, uh, I definitely do not see much improvement as I feel that tourism will still remain in low numbers over the next few years. But I'll be holding on to it and um, in the meantime, we'll not be adding any new units. So let's move on next to Far East Orchard. So after purchasing Far East Hospitality Trust, I came across Far East Orchard, which is the listed subsidiary of the Far East Organization in Singapore. And definitely Far East Organization is the largest private property developer in Singapore. And besides property, uh, it is also a major shareholder of Yo Help Sing Limited. So one point that I like about Far East Orchard is that their dividend payout has been very consistent. As you can see from dividend.sg, from year 2013 to year 2020, they have been paying out a fixed amount of dividend yield. So in terms of Far East Orchard portfolio, Besides the hospitality arm, which is Fai's Hospitality Trust, they also have residential projects, medical centres, and also student accommodations overseas. I would think that the medical centres and student accommodations will be affected due to the pandemic. But of course, depending on the location of the property, it will differ. In terms of my holdings, as of 30th Jan 2021, I have a holdings of uh, 2,500 units 
at an average price of $1.18. So you can see that that's about a loss of about $279. And so far, I've received about $150 worth of dividends from it. So considering the current price of about $1.10, I would think of adding more units. But with no spare cash, I would still not buy in yet. I definitely like Singapore stocks because of the dividends, and Fire's Orchard is one that I'll be holding on to if they can sustain the dividend. To be honest, if you look through my portfolio, I do have a lot of different Singapore counters in very small amounts. And that's because when I first started, I was like on a shopping spree and I just invested or bought whatever I liked, depending on the dividend yield or whether I thought the company was good. At that time, it was really random. But for Ford Fire East Orchard, having so many properties on hand for them is an advantage. And I believe in the long run, this is a good counter to have in my portfolio. So as you can see um, earlier, most of the positions in my portfolio are for the long term, except for a few which I'll cover in the future. So hope you guys enjoy today's video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you.